Scratch environment. So once you launch into your Scratch environment, as we have seen before, this is what you are going to see. And then we need to explain to you what this environment is all about. So our first class, we're going to be covering um, Scratch environment. Scratch environment. And number two, we're going to be covering uh, our first creating our first game. Creating our first game and thirdly, how to save. How to save in Scratch. In Scratch. Okay, so let's start with the environment first. So when we come here, this little guy here called Cats is we actually call it Sprite. Sprite is the general name, and sprites are the main actors in our our design in our game. They are the main actors. Like uh, when you watch a movie, they have actors, they have actresses. So those are the people who are carrying out the actions that is happening in the movie. So we have a lot of them. When you click here, just come here, choose a sprite, just click on it. We have a lot of them that you can select from. We have the animal sprite, we have people sprite, we have fantasy sprite, we have dance, we have music, we have sport, and we have food. Okay, so we're going to be making use of so, some of this. In creating our own uh, our own game so let me go back and that is the first thing so first thing is when you come to the scratch environment the first one is sprites sprites that's the first thing you see and that we need to relate with so number two that we need to get acquainted with here is the background here where the sprite is is where the background is where the stage is okay so every action takes place in this stage and you notice that the background of this small boy called cat is empty just white so we can change the background by coming here okay we normally call it backdrop so if you're a programmer which i know that most of us uh, programmers we know that background also is called backdrop so when you click on it we also have a lot of background for us to choose from we have fantasies we have music background that means if you are creating a game that has to do with stages where they are dancing or wherever you choose from this sports okay maybe baseball basketball football whatever that you want to create games that the, uh, the the characters or the actors are acting on you can choose from it also we have the outdoor we have the indoor we have spaces and we have underwater okay now if you are developing a game you must use a background that goes with what you are designing okay so you can add just like actors and actresses they can add in the add some movies they add it in the house they add some movies in the party or they add some in the palace say for instance you can put a a, a kbac so to say or a king in a disco place a disco house a party place or a, like 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 a nightclub okay it should be in the palace okay where it should be well respected so every characters every scene has to have come with a special backdrop okay that is what we, this is all about so let me go back so the second one here is the backdrop or background we call it backdrop back grand or backdrop okay so the third thing we need to make notice here also is this the code this is the code if you are a programmer you already know what codes is all about okay and which i know that most of us are programmers 
So we have codes and why is this so easy is because you are not going to write the code. Write the code, the code is already there for us to pick. Just click and drag to the center, that's what we do, okay? And just once we want to drag, you press down the left button side of your mouse and then drag to the center. So once you drag it to this place, it is the code that is here that controls uh, the sprite or the actors or actresses that we will be using here. So that is majorly what we do and it's already uh, they already group it into different modules. So we have the motion, we have the look, we have the sound, we have the events, we have the, the control, we have the sensing, we have the operators, we have the variables and then we have the mind block so we're going to be using those stuff one after the other so but for now we're just doing introduction so the third thing we have is the codes codes which is very very essential in developing our game so the next thing now is costume okay we have costume that means this guy can be costumed into different parts take for instance every actor has at different parts and those parts is just the costume that they are applying on them that makes them change okay and also that applies to the sprite that we're that we're going to be developing so the costume is the fourth thing in the scratch environment so number four Costume, costume. Okay, so then let's go now to the next one is sand, sand. So here we can apply several sand. We have a lot of sand here that we can choose from. Okay, so you can choose any kind of sand here. Take for instance, you are creating a birthday uh, game for someone. You can play a birthday song. Okay, let me play this now for you to hear. Okay, you can hear it just playing for you. Happy birthday to you. So, that, but you can also add your own voice. When we begin to develop our game now, you notice we can add our own voice. We can include our own voice in whatever we are creating. So, so the next thing, the, the, the next thing we see on the environment is sand. Sand. Okay. I hope you are following okay now I need to go to these two buttons this flag is the play button or the buttons that makes the actors or actresses to react when you click on the play button on this flag the action takes place if we have put code on this one now if I click on the flag you see it uh, acting in one way or the other and the other one is a stop button the red one is the stop button so we have the flag and also we have the stop button so those are the major things that we have in the scratch environment okay one major thing that I've not mentioned is these three guys here these three button so this depend on if you want to expand this frame let's say you want to expand it you want one side to be bigger you notice that the the background now is not smaller where we, are, we need to put code is a bit wider and also this side also is wider and this is how it was before okay so this is just the adjustment button for at our screen then if you want to view it in a full form so you click on this it will bring you to the full form of it so we are done with the introduction okay so let me remove this small boy now we're going to code our first game our first game in scratch i'm so excited about this okay and i'm sure you will love it our first game in scratch maybe some of us are who are programmers already know how to use scratch but for those those of us who are just coming this is our first time that we're going to be creating our own little small game in scratch so for us to do that let's select select a sprite so i'll come here let me select ball 
So I'm selecting ball. I'm going to write the process for you how to create this, the little one that we're going to do now, and then it's the subsequent one. So I've selected the ball. This is the ball that I selected, and I've selected a ball. So the next thing I need to select now is to go and select a background. So when I click here, just like I explained earlier, then I'll look for the kind of background that I want. Let me select from, uh, let me select this neon tunnel on that space. Okay, so this will be my background for this. I just want to add little code that will control this ball. Okay, and then that will be our first our first game. So for me to start with, this ball or the sprite must be highlighted because I'm going to put the code on this ball. I want the codes that I'm going to put here to control the ball. So if you have about three or four sprites here, you must click on the one you want to add the code. So this is already highlighted. So I'll go to events to start with and i'm going to drag out this when flag click when flag click so i've already explained what flag is here that means if they click on this flag something should happen so that's exactly what it means so this flag now will be the control button for this when flag click then i'll go to motion i want it to you know do some things for me when the flag is click so i'm going to drag drag out point in direction 90 point in direction 90 and now click on this 90 i'll click on this white where the root 90 just click on it and change it to 45 45 okay so this will automatically change in that direction what i'm saying is the the sprite should point in a certain direction that means it should point on this direction that is exactly what you just see here okay point in direction 45 so you just click out and that is it okay so the next thing i need to do now is to select another button under control i'm going to select forever what does forever means forever if i want something to keep repeating itself over and over and over and over again until i say stop okay if i say if i pick repeat 10 times that action will be performed 10 times and it will stop but this time around i want it to keep repeating until i say stop that means until i click on stop button okay so the action that's going to repeat itself over and over again is the codes that i'm going to put inside this forever uh, codes so i'm going to go to motion and i will select this first one move 10 steps so I want this ball to move 10 steps. So I will change this now, not 10 steps, but to 15 steps. Take 15 steps. So that means if I click on this now, it will move 10 steps or 15 steps. So you can see now it's already disappeared. Okay. It's already disappeared. So we're going to bring it back. So just hold on. Okay. So I'm going to add another code. That means the code that we're going to add we say if we get to the edge here, I don't want it to disappear, just as that one disappear. So once you get to the edge here, it should bounce back. So that is the code we are going to add to it. And this is the code. If on edge, comma, bounce. So I'm going to drag it out and put it here. So if I click on flag now, okay, it will get to the edge, bounce, and go to the other side. So it keep bouncing like that from one end to another okay that little code now has helped us in creating this wonderful little game okay we can't really call it a game for now but at least it's a starting point for us later we're going to be adding more stuff that will make it become very interesting game where two or three people can actually play it together and enjoy it okay but for now let for a start for those of us who are just starting up in scratch i would like you to just go through this process with this with these four five lines of codes let's get this working okay so please i'd like you to quickly do this and post your 
assignment but i'm going to call it assignment just post it on whatsapp and whatsapp for everyone to see thank you so much